But it was worth coming up to the market, wasn't it? It's not even that crowded. We will be able to buy all the fresh fruit and vegetables that we need. And we mustn't forget the dairy products. Mum, look at those strawberries. Let's get some for dinner. We haven't had any yet this year. All right, darling, but let's be a little organised. We will start with the basic necessities. Let me check my list. Potatoes, carrots, tomatoes, cauliflower, green peppers, onions... Mum! They're selling pancakes over at the cake store. Shall we get some? We can eat them while we're walking round. Come on now, Vicky. If you eat too many sweet things, you put on weight. Not that you need worry about that at your age. We'll treat ourselves to those sweet things when we have done our chores. I wish we'd gone to the local supermarket. We're going to have to queue up for hours. It gets so tedious. Now, now, be patient and think of all this tasty food we will be bringing home. Everything is so fresh and appetising. So let's split here, then. If you choose the vegetables, I'll take care of the fruit. Trust me, I know how to choose what I like. You won't be disappointed. OK, darling, I'll grant you that. After all, you have to learn to shop at a market. Shall we meet at the pancake stand? No, see you at the flower market first. I'm sure you won't mind queuing up for those beautiful bright yellow daffodils. I also noticed that they had the most charming shades of tulips. Go ahead. Use your imagination. Personally, I would rather get the roses. But all right, Mum, you win. See you there. I'm in charge now. Though it is a bit breezy, Alice thinks it was worth coming up to the market. She is sure they will be able to buy all the vegetables they need. Victoria points to the strawberries and suggests they get some straight away as they have not had any yet this year. Alice agrees but thinks they ought to start with the basic necessities. Victoria then spots a pancake stall and asks her mother if they can get some. Alice tells Victoria that they will treat themselves when they have done their chores. Victoria wishes they had gone to the local supermarket as she feels that they are going to be queuing up for hours. Her mother advises her to be patient. Victoria then suggests that they each go their own way and she will take care of the fruit and her mother will deal with the vegetables. Alice agrees and lets her have her way as she thinks that Victoria must learn to shop at a market. On her way to the fruit stand, Victoria waves to her mother and asks her if they should meet at the pancake stand. Alice replies that she will meet her daughter at the flower market. She tells her to use her imagination when buying tulips and daffodils. Mm -hmm.